Hello and welcome to my Yakuza Kiwami 2 100% Trophy Guide video. In this video we're going to talk about half performance, half raw power trophy. And to get this trophy you need to complete all of the tournaments. I will recommend Sirik Z's guide again for this. Um, just to show you what exactly you need to do to unlock certain tournaments. Basically you need a shed load of points. So to get decent points in the Colosseum. You need to win quickly, you need to use heat actions, you need to use super heat mode. Sorry, extreme heat mode, that's what it's called. Taunts. Uh, and yeah, just not taking any any damage all gets you a lot of points. You'll start off with, like, easy-ish tournaments. There's no healing in the tournaments, so... If you win a fight, you do get a 10% healing after the fight for the next fight. If you lose the fight you go straight back to sort of the start area with no health so you have to heal up in between fights you'll have to heal up if you've been taking damage um, sorry in between tournaments uh, the first ah, I don't know six seven eight nine I think you can do about ten of the twelve tournaments one two three 9, 10, yeah, I think you can do 10 of the f first, uh, 10 out of 12 of the tournaments. The last two tournaments you have to unlock, so one of them's unlocked by doing the clan creator story fully, so you'll have to do that first, so even though you unlock the Colosseum in chapter 5, you'll be waiting until later on chapters when you start doing clan creator, and then the other one's by doing all the sub stories, and I think the sub stories end in chapter 13? Might be wrong there, but pretty much you'd be waiting till chapter 13 minimum, and then whenever you complete the clan creator to finish this. So you might want to just leave it till the end. You don't really get anything particularly great for completing the uh, the tournaments as you go. Um, like the last two tournaments might give you something decent, but the other ones not so great. You do unlock certain characters as well by doing like sub stories uh, some through story progress and basically that unlocks like certain animals uh, ninjas samurais random things like that so you want to do this later on in the game it is quite tough some of the tournaments so be prepared for a big fight and make sure you're uh, you're ready for it in terms of like you've got decent upgrades, you've got your charged attacks, stuff like that. Try and choose the easiest opponents if you can. Um, obviously some are, are blanked out, I don't know if they're always blanked out, can't remember. If they're always blanked out, just go for the ones that you know, like wrestling, wrestling, you know, the easier ones rather than, you know, legendary, 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 because the chances are you're running into Kamaki or someone else who's dangerous and it'll uh, it'll drain your health pretty quick but yeah that's the tournament of legends so far and you, you come across um, this guy's from the clan creator story by the way Chono and we absolutely annihilating him but yeah it, you come across uh, the Amons and stuff as well which is kind of annoying in, in the Colosseum because obviously you can't heal so you really have to be careful you beat them down as quickly as possible with charge attacks um, but yeah I mean if you're good at defending that's always uh, useful I'm not, I don't know how that worked then, that was amazing <laughs> he, was in, he was like mid move and he just fucking punched him down on the floor this, this guy's another one from the uh, clan creator story. So yeah, you basically need to unlock everything first before you even bother going to it. The Amons though you want to avoid if you can, certain ones. Some of them aren't too bad. If you can use, use your charged attacks, you could use extreme heat mode. I think I'm saving my extreme heat mode for the Amons if they do show up. Because extreme heat mode, I don't think you can die whilst you're in extreme heat mode, so it's definitely worth keeping it 
until you're in a crazy fight. This guy's another one on the clan creator stuff, so look, I think we were lucky here with uh, enemies. I don't think these are particularly strong enemies. Like he's got some crazy moves though. But yeah, the Amons you, you just want to avoid if you can. <laughs> this is just annoying. It's proper annoying. But yeah, oh, he's chinned him. That did a lot of damage. I don't know if you can grab this guy. Certain ones you can grab, certain ones you can't, because they're too like strong or big. Dash punch, lovely stuff. Alright, who's the last one? Assassination sounds like an Amon. Could be an Amon. Probably an Amon. It's oh dear. Sango Amon. So he's got his bazooka, so you wanna pop uh, extreme heat most likely. That didn't do that much damage, I'm surprised by that. Maybe I was lucky. Maybe it nerfs the damage when they're in Colosseum mode, so maybe there's not too much to worry about. If you stay on him, keep on him, keep dash punching. He dodges a bit, but it's not that bad. That did a lot more damage there. So once he's in heat mode, this is where it gets dangerous. So you want to be doing quick damage, get rid of his... Uh, oh my god. Yeah, so you can't die unless you're in extreme heat mode, I think, once you get certain moves. So you've got to finish this fight quickly. <laughs> oh, it's brutal. But yeah, that's how it's done. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and peace out.